Yaho YouTube, I am Super Genki, and in today's thought of the day, we're gonna talk about personal responsibility. Now, I was in a Switch chat today, and we were talking about the development of habits, and how basically speaking, some guy came into my chat and was like, all the Americans in America, man, they're like 150 kg plus, man. I mean, they, they don't know anything about this stuff. I'm like, well, you know what I mean? It's not really a problem with the Americans, it's a problem with the habits that some of the Americans develop, because maybe because of our culture, but the thing is, I live in Miami, and Miami's a place that doesn't have, I don't even know how many pounds 150 kg is, but Miami's not a place that has like 150 kg people, and not at least in my, in, my, in my point of view. But what we have to understand, what we have to take away from this stuff, because people are always gonna perceive us as Americans, people are always gonna perceive other cultures from what they hear in the news and what they see from their friends and what they're told by their peers, Habits are the foundational building blocks of personal responsibility, or it's the other way around. Personal, no, yeah, personal responsibility is the foundational building block to all habits, right? People tend to think that your habits follow with the result you want, but it's actually no. The result you want follows with the habits you have. All of the professional biker teams in the world have the same goal, the same result that they want. They want to win the championship, but at the end of the day, only one team wins the championship. And why is this? I mean, they have all the same goal. They all have the same goal, but one team wins the championship because they trained harder because their habits were more attuned, finally attuned to being able to increase their, their muscle strength, their skills, their energy, their motivation, their sleep, everything. All their habits are finally attuned to the tune of improvement. And when we look at fine tuning our habits, we have to look at personal responsibility and self responsibility because in a world where society is becoming more increasingly status quo based, there is no need for personal responsibility. Well, there's not, not that there's no need, but there's less of a need than before for personal responsibility in the society. And knowing this, as individuals, we have to seek to want to overcome the social stigmas that are placed on us by other cultures and other societies. This whole, oh, Americans are all 150 kg kind of thing. Well, you know, maybe there are some Americans who are 150 kg, but there are also a lot of Americans who are bodybuilders. A lot of Americans that are bodybuilders. And I know this because I used to train at the gym over at FIU. And I'm just saying, man, if we're going to overcome the stigmas that are put on about us by other people, we really have to learn to be self-responsible for what we believe in, self-responsible for what we're trying to do, self-responsible for the journey that we're taking. Because if we're not, it's just too easy to not do it and just fall off the journey and have nothing happen to you. Because there's like not any, what's it called? There's no repercussions for failing in today's modern day world. Like everyone gets a trophy, man. There's no repercussions for failing. Well, there are repercussions for failing, but they're not tangible. They're more intangible, right? And we are focused on the tangibles in today's culture and society. So, you know, if we, get, if we fail, we'll be, oh, man, I'll just go eat a tub of ice cream and a pizza and I'll just go watch like media and whatever. I'll gorge off and become 155 kg, right? Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. That's today's thought. This thought helps you out. Smash that like button. Leave a comment. Love responding to those comments. Share this video with your friends and just keep watching. Even if you don't do any of these things, I just ask you to keep watching these videos because the more you intake positive content, the more positive you're gonna be. It's all about input. Input directly correlates with output. That's the video for today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.